Google has quietly dropped their smallest member of JAMA3 family, which is this 270 million parameter model. This model is a latest open source language model from Google, which also comes in base template, which means that you can fine tune it on your own use case. This model is a surprisingly capable package. Built on the same foundational research as the Gemini models, it uses a transformer architecture optimized for efficiency while maintaining decent performance for its size. In this video, we are going to install it locally and we will see how exactly it performs. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot. So before we start the installation, let's talk a bit more about this model. The model was trained on a massive 6 trillion tokens, which is ironically more than some larger models in the family. With a knowledge cutoff of August 2024, it supports a 32k token context window, which is very large for a 270 million parameter model and comes in both pre-trained and instruction tuned variants. Now, I will be talking a bit more about its architecture later, but for now, let's get the installation underway. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. So I'm going to use GPU for this video, but you can easily run it on CPU. And if it doesn't need GPU, it would just keep using the CPU. And you can see that I am using this Ubuntu system and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Master Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. Let me now install all the prerequisites and they include Tosh, Transformers and a lot of other things. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. Now, one last thing which we need to install and make sure is this Transformers version. Make sure that you're installing this branch, which is also present on their model card because this is the branch where this JAMA 3's newest 270 million parameter is supported. Also, this is a gated model, which means that you would need to go to Hugging Face, log in, and accept the terms and condition. And then you would need to grab your read token and log into Hugging Face, which I will also show you shortly. If you don't do that, you won't be able to download this model. By the way, this model is also available from Kaggle, uh, from Google's Vertex AI, and also from Google's AI Studio if you are interested. And now I'm going to log into the Hugging Face. So I'm just using this Hugging Face CLI. And now you can see that this has been deprecated. I didn't see it like few hours ago. So it seems they have just deprecated it. And the new command to use it, I believe, is this. Uh, H, sorry, I'll just go up. HF auth login. So let's do this. HF auth login. And there is no warning now. So things keep changing and we are working on the bleeding edge. So this will happen almost every day. Anyway, I'm going to paste my read token, which is a free token from Hugging Face uh, profile. Also, it's always a good idea to set your token like this in environment variable. So let me set that and clear the screen. And now I'm going to launch my Jupyter Notebook. First thing we need to do is to download the model and its tokenizer. So let's do that. And the model is now loaded. It's a very quick model, just over 500 meg of size. And if I quickly look at the VRAM consumption, it is not even using my VRAM. It is all on CPU. And now let's do the inference with it. We are going to test it out on various uh, prompts. So first up, I'm asking you to write me a short, short poem about AI. And then there are some hyperparameters. Input is being converted into these numerical representation, which model can understand. And then model is generating the output. Tokenizer is decoding it and we are printing it out. So let me run this. While it runs, let's check the VRAM consumption. Nothing there. And there is your poem. 
which is not bad at all. The language is coherent. It has followed the prompt and has produced what we asked it to produce. Okay, let's try out a bit more stuff. So next up, I'm just checking its language uh, progress. So I'm just going to make it like this. So I'm asking it who this following quotation belong to. It is different. It is difficult to get a man to understand something when his salary depends upon his not understanding it. So let's run this. There you go. So it says Mr. Smith, which is totally wrong. I believe that is uh, up, up done Sinclair, I believe. Anyway, so I don't think so. It has done good. Anyway, let's check out a bit of a multilinguality. I will keep it simple. I understand the limitation of the model. So I'm asking it to write me the number from 1 to 10 in Indonesian language in form of English words. Even if it produces it in Indonesian, I'll be fine but it doesn't okay that is interesting so it is not really that multilingual the model card says 140 languages anyway i'm going to stop teasing the model i will maybe keep it a bit different i will make it a bit generic language task this time i'm asking it birds have wings they say but of course they have no way of verifying this if you were a bird how would you verify this let's try this out okay so um, you see i will even if i increase this to 556 let's see what model says and by the way this is not a base model this is an instruction to a model it says i'm not sure how to verify this statement it's a common misconception okay interesting okay let's try to be fair with the model given its size so i will just be going with some basic factual questions simple explanations Maybe some short creative tasks and elementary math, that sort of stuff. We already have tested its capabilities in writing that poem, which was quite good. Let's see if it can write this short story about a cat who discovers a hidden door. And I want the model to keep it 100 words. So let's check it out. There you go. Whiskers twitching, Clementine the cat. Very nice. It has given the cat a name and then a breed. It is explaining the cat exploring the attic dust port danced in the single shaft of sunlight illuminating a forgotten trunk she sniffed the air you know what i think this is quite good that it was safe so it has really done good there i think for a 270 million parameter model that is quite a good response okay next up let's see if it can summarize this paragraph so i am asking it to summarize this whole paragraph in one sentence that machine learning is a subset of AI that does this and this. And there you go. I don't think so it has done the summary. So it cannot do summary, you see. Maybe I will run it one more time. Nope, it cannot do summary, but it is hallucinating and printing some Russian here. Interesting. Let's try out a coding one. And I'm just asking it to write me a simple Python function to check if a number is even or odd. For simple tasks, and I think it does a decent job. But I think Quen's model were maybe slightly better than this in similar size. Maybe they were just a bit higher, around 500. So it is even half of its size. Anyway, let's see if it can write this simple code or not. Taking a bit of a time, let's check the VRAM consumption. Nope, all on CPU. There you go. So our function is there. I'm quickly checking. Yep, looks good. Very nice. Not only that, it has also explained it and then given us the proper use. I like it. I think for this size of model, this is a very good response. Let's ask this question. The correct answer is 20. That if I have 15 apples and give away 7, and then buy 12 more. How many apples do I have? As I said, 20 is the correct answer. Yep, you see, 20 apples. Very nice. And let's check out this one. Let's run this. The answer is very simple. 40 for this geometrical uh, question where we are asking it to give us the area of a rectangle. And the answer is correct. 
let's check out one more multilingual one and then we will call it a day so i am asking it to say good morning in diff 10 different languages and i'm asking it to make sure you know those languages not really i don't think so it is multilingual i think there are a lot of limitations in this 270 million version but does a decent job for many of the basic tasks in math english and coding let me know what do you think please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot thank you for all the support